How soothing is that fountain of oil? Hi, I'm Callie, a professional food stylist, and this is the show where I teach you how to style food to look amazing for social media. It's time to plate it perfect. Today, I'm feeling Irish, and I'm styling Irish stew. I've got some beautiful dark Irish beer, some vegetables, beautiful cuts of beef. I think it's gonna be an awesome St. Patrick's Day. I'm gonna start this recipe off with oil, really super hot, smoking hot. You literally wanna see smoke coming off your oil because the key to a great stew and taking a beautiful photo of stew is getting really beautiful browning on the outside of the pieces of the meat. And I'm gonna put these in individually. You see that popping? Woo! It's a good sign. And you don't want to crowd your meat. Make sure you give it room so it can brown. Beautiful. I'm gonna step back. I don't want this beautiful green blazer getting greasy. And then when it gets browned, you see that searing? That's what I'm looking for. A tip when you're searing beef, sear on all sides of the meat. Don't just get the tops and the bottoms because when I go to style the photo, I want to show different angles of the pieces of beef but I really want those golden, even some really dark brown edges on the meat. The reason why I chose bigger beef chunks is because those stand up to when we take a photo. I want the soup to feel really hearty and you can communicate that with the shapes that you use. Brown it really good in the oil and then you can see you got that caramelization on it. All right, gorgeous. Now comes the browning of the vegetables. And I cut these vegetables into chunkier shapes on the diagonal so that it's visually interesting. It's not just a plain old round carrot chunked into a soup. We have gorgeous, chunky, hearty pieces. So if your pan is really hot and your vegetables are starting to burn, you actually need to add more oil. Oil will cool the pan down a little bit and it will also help your vegetables not to stick. So I just wanna put them in there and I'm gonna turn my heat up a little bit more so that I get a really good little bit of a crust on there. My vegetables are looking nice and browned on the edges. I love it, they're looking really good. So now I'm going to add in our liquid. I have um, chicken stock that I'm gonna add. And then our dark Irish beer. And I love cooking with this beer because it has a really deep, rich flavor and it really adds another level of depth to the stew. So not only is the color gonna be amazing, the taste is gonna be amazing too. Now I'm gonna add our garlic and our bouquet of herbs. This is so beautiful. I have rosemary and parsley and a bay leaf all tucked into this bouquet garni. I'm gonna let this infuse flavor into our soup and then I may even bring it into the photo depending on what we want to do. So I'm gonna put this in here and I'm gonna add in our browned beef. And we have more beef than this to add but I just want y'all to see the brown pieces. All right, so now this has been simmering for a bit. I'm gonna add in our potatoes. And I wanted to keep some whole and some halved because when I go to build the soup, I wanna be able to play with the size and the shape. And I also love the texture, that velvety soft texture of a cooked potato. And you can see that if you leave them sliced when you cook them in the soup. So already I'm seeing the color build. You have the beautiful shape and form of the potatoes, that hence it's sort of an Irish tradition, the beautifully browned beef with that, those gorgeous caramelized edges, the chunky carrots and the celery. Everything is just coming together so nicely and I can't wait for this to cook a little bit for photo. And one tip I'll give you, when you're cooking soup that has a lot of vegetables in it, you wanna err on the side of the vegetables being a little underdone because I don't want them to look soft and soggy on camera. So cook your soup, maybe 10 minutes ish less than you normally would if you're going to take a photo of it and then finish it off back on the stove. All right, I'm ready to take this to set and get our style on. All right, I'm ready to style this soup. We have the scene all set up. I have our beautiful kind of rustic surface that creates this warm sort of evening, afternoon feel with the light. And then this beautiful hearty bowl. Everything is flowing together really nicely. And on our wooden board, I wanted sort of a deeper color on it. So you can just add some water and you could add oil and just use a paper towel or a cloth to um, massage that in there. And it's gonna bring the color out and make it look darker. It's gonna look really good on camera. So I'm I'm ready to build the soup. I just put some soup kind of in there for our base and then I'm going to show you how to use all the individual elements that we worked so hard to create earlier on the stove to bring this soup to life. I start out like I've talked about before with one of the main star ingredients when I'm styling this so that's our beef. So I'm going to place the beef in first and I'm going to again style a little bit more towards the front 
and then build towards the back. So that's a pretty shape. And again, when I'm putting these soup elements in, I wanna tell a story of what's in the soup, but I also don't wanna just place them on top. We really wanna work them into the liquid. So this beef is looking beautiful. It's really sheeny. It's got browning on the edges. That looks gorgeous. I love the way that's looking. So I'm gonna stop with the beef and then I'm gonna add in the potatoes because this is another star ingredient. You know, Irish potatoes are very traditional. So I'm gonna add in our potatoes and I'm gonna do some that look whole and then some that look halved. I know the telltale sign of a good food photo is when I just wanna take a bite of it, you know, just wanna dive into it. So that's what I'm trying to create here. And I also love how we're using color to make the soup appear lighter too. So I have this light sage green colored bowl, which I love, the lightness of the potatoes. Cause though it is hearty, we don't want the whole frame to feel, Ooh. you wanna bring some lightness in so it creates that balance. I'm gonna add in our carrots, see how I picked pieces out of the soup that are nice and brown so we can showcase that. And just feel free to play around, move things around, let things sink. And actually over time, as the soup sits and get a little, gets a little cooler, things will probably start to sink and that's okay. Just watch your soup, make sure you take care of the details and kind of fluff things up with it if they need it. And I'm gonna add our celery, final touches. I love that. I've actually got some pieces of rosemary from the bouquet garni we put in there that I kind of want to incorporate, kind of fresh cues. Gorgeous, this looks so good, I'm so happy. I also took the bouquet garni we talked about earlier with the chef's twine around it. And chef's twine is something that you can get like at a specialty food store. Um, you can order it online. I took it out a little bit early so it's staying nice and punchy green. And I'm actually gonna add another visual interest moment in our photo. I'm gonna place this in our soup so that you can kind of see it. We've got our soup built. Now here come the final touches. I'm gonna add this pickled red cabbage for just a pop of magenta. I love the color that that gives our soup. Pickled vegetables are beautiful in a rich soup. Then I'm also gonna add in some microgreens. These are so pretty. This again adds another touch of lightness to our soup, just a little bit. And I don't want, I don't want it creating an S shape coming off. I want it just to kind of be like a natural cue at the top. Now I'm gonna add some parsley. Another fresh cue, just another pop of green to balance in the parsley that's in the back. And actually, I'm gonna play a little bit with this and get maybe put a little on the surface because I think that's beautiful. It kind of ties everything in. And finally, I'm gonna add our salt and pepper. Y'all know I love a good bit of flaky salt. Add a little extra crunch, a little layer of depth. And I like the way the salt falls on the beef. It kind of cues to the, the salt we had in the recipe. And then some pepper. Awesome, that looks beautiful. Okay, so now for our favorite part, the beer. We're gonna get our beer to foam back up a little bit because as you can see, it's been sitting here and it's a little sad. So I'm gonna add some salt to the bottom of the glass. Then I'm gonna take a knife, stir it up, and that foam should start to fall again. See that foam building right there? Isn't that crazy? Check that out. Beautiful. All right, I've got the scene set up and I'm looking at this thinking I could take an overhead shot of this to capture all the elements or I could get a tight shot of the beautiful interplay of the microgreens and the parsley and the beef. Um, but I'm gonna add one final touch. We need a linen in here and I've got our green linen. I'm gonna tuck it under slightly to the bowl, add our spoon, but I'll also probably play around, see how it looks on camera and adjust things a bit. This looks great and now I'm ready to take the photo.